Good morning, welcome to another vlog. It's a really quick intro because I'm the only one awake. It's like 8 a.m. Both of my cats right there, right there, are hunting that hummingbird. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it right there on that feeder. Somebody sent me a question, like a topic to talk about on my vlog on Instagram. You can DM me and just say it's for like to answer on YouTube. Or, like say a YouTube question and then say your question or your topic. That way I like don't think you're like just some random person like trauma dumping in my DMs. You know what I mean? Opinions on dating apps. Opinions on dating apps. So I know dating apps get a really bad reputation and you do have to be careful but if you think about it it's like the same people that are in your city my cat's meowing so either way I don't know and I know everybody doesn't like they don't not everybody has dating apps obviously I met my man that I'm dating now on a dating app we met on Bumble if you don't want to date your co-workers then Dating apps are kind of the way to go just because if you work from home and you don't go out much, like what are you supposed to do? It's like I'm I'm answering kind of like more for introverts. I'm sure like extroverts like just go to the bar. The short answer is I think dating, dating apps are completely fine and go ahead and do it. But I would just be very, be cautious. Always meet up in public. The first time you guys ever hang out or bring a friend or whatever just be really cautious because it's like a stranger obviously um and i'm very much the type of person who's like upfront about what i want in a relationship and in life and with friendships and stuff like that so if you're being a fucking weirdo and you're giving me the creeps i'm blocking you or unmatching you on bumble or whatever i will say that bumble is less aggressive than tinder even though like technically it's kind of the same people i don't know it's just a different vibe i tried hinge too hinge is like the same vibe as bumble i don't know i have been in a relationship for six plus years so i haven't been on there for six plus years um 
but from what I, I'm sure it's like the same. I tried Bumble BFF like a couple months ago to just meet like girlfriends around my town, but I feel like I want introverted friends and I'm inside all the time. So it's like, where do you think your introverted friends are? inside all the time or like dodging plans like you would me you know what i mean like your introverted friends that you're searching for that also probably want introverted friends y'all are all fucking inside or you guys don't even have a bumble bff because you don't even it's like i don't even want friends because i don't even want to text every day but i feel like when you're getting to know somebody you have to text every day or at least a little i don't know and I was texting this one girl. Basically had a lot in common, but then we just like didn't text each other again and I was okay with it. And I feel like she was okay with it too. Because, I don't know, it's just so backwards. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know, okay. Just do the dating apps, like whatever. Be cautious, be careful, and don't take anyone's shit. Like just, you really need to know like what you want in a person. But also I think dating apps is kind of like, going on dates is seeing what you like in people and seeing what you don't want in people okay i literally just showered it's like 10 28 p.m at night i made burgers for my man and i this is his this is like a double double so like two patties an egg and then some onion it looks kind of bland because we don't have any tomato hey, what are you doing come here Oh my goodness. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay. Before I end this vlog, I want to talk about some topics. I just did my makeup too and I really like it. There's two things that I want to talk about because they kind of bother me. I'm going to like briefly, we're not going to get super into it because I want to wrap this vlog up. I feel like it's been kind of long. The people and like the gurus and like the spiritual people or whatever that give you readings. This could be life coaches too, but I've seen it just in like tarot readings, right? And like general readings. You know what I'm talking about? Like pick a card. Like if you see this message then like whatever, right? I saw this person say in her reading, it was like, you're afraid of your own success. You're afraid of good things happening to you. You're afraid of this and that. I just think that like, it's like I kind of get what they're saying a little bit, but I think that it needs to be like, not said in that way because nobody's fucking afraid of being successful maybe i'm just like a very literal person and maybe i'm not understanding but to me those things are like you're afraid of somebody actually treating you right why the fuck would somebody be afraid of that like they might not be used to it because they're used to like abusive relationships or like whatever they were conditioned to in the past for example they might not be used to it, but they're not afraid of a nice person. They're not afraid of fucking money. They're not afraid of their business going viral or like their, you know what I mean? Like blowing up and like their presence blowing up, I mean. Empty, it's like fake deep. It's just like empty words. I don't know, like do better. It's just really weird to me. Like you're afraid of your own success. Like, can you elaborate on that? And then they'll be like, oh, you're afraid of the work it has to take to get there. And like, da, 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 da. It's like, I don't really think like a majority of people are afraid. I just think like, it's either, I don't know. I could go on. It's just like very empty and like, ugh. There's this girl on TikTok that allegedly neglected her cat. And I wanted to talk about it because the whole entire situation with the girl, the girl and the people in the content house are wrong all of them um i am not taking one side over the other i used to subscribe to her if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about it's like all over my freaking timeline and i'm just gonna say this they're all fucking weirdos okay like yeah some of them might have grown maybe not i'm gonna say this i don't trust people that making content is just fine obviously i'm doing it right now like that's normal whatever make your content and put your shit out there like being in a content hype house is a red flag like you shouldn't trust people or like expect them really to be good people if they're like in a hype house i'm sorry if they're in a content house or a hype house like 
or any sort of that kind of thing, like you can just automatically assume that they're a red flag. And I don't care if that pisses anyone off. Like I'm tired of like the parasocial fucking relationships on the internet, like people need to get a grip. It's one thing to like for me and you to connect and I kind of feel like you guys are in my life because I'm sharing my life and then like sometimes you guys tell me about your life and like how you relate to what I'm saying or like sometimes you guys just tell me random stuff about your life like to tell me, which I love. But it's just like, that's kind of different. Like, I don't think that like, you guys think that you know me to my core and like that I would never, like she would never do that. Like, how would, how do you know? How do you know? You know what I'm saying? Like stop idolizing like these freaking people. And honestly, okay. Something that irritated me to my fucking core is she said, I wrote it down like in my notes so I could like stay on topic. Um, I was only 18. Like, I was only 18, like, and that's why I neglected the cat. I didn't know better. Be fucking serious. You were only 18. Like, dude, if you don't, what do you, I just like can't teach, I can't explain common sense to people. I can't explain common sense to people. Like, I'm pretty sure you learn at a pretty young age that like food, water, care, and animal needs like food water care a baby needs like it's just like really it's just like a really poor excuse like it would be different if she was like i was 15 or i was 13 you know what i mean adolescent more but you were 18 and i know that your brain is not fully developed until you're 25 but you were 18 when you're 18 your brain is developed enough to know not to mistreat animals, okay? Like, be fucking serious. Like, what do you mean you were 18? Like, and she's also admitting that the second she said that she knew the cat was sick and she didn't take it to the vet, like, repeatedly, it was done. Like, dude. Like, dude, dude, dude. Seriously, I don't know if I'm just, like, no, I'm not. This is like an animal and like people are like dick riding her. Like would take a bullet for somebody that doesn't even know they exist. Like it's insane. Like I don't support celebrity culture. Like there's a lot of influencers or like YouTubers or TikTokers that are real. And maybe I'll like go through my list of people that I like to follow. I just think it's fucked up. And then also something that everybody's wanting to fucking normalize, but I'm not normalizing it because it's not normal okay is she said like in her apology video or whatever in whatever video i didn't watch them all i just kind of got the gist and it's like i whatever and nobody has like solid proof like she doesn't have proof the people of the content house i'm gonna barf like doesn't have proof so it's just like i don't believe any of you you all are fucking weird like the guy is literally fucking weird like wanted to get with her from what i understand and then da 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 da, da like it could go deep like it goes a little bit deeper like he is probably trying to get back at her i can like understand that it was his fault too but it was like both of their faults if your cat is sick take it to the vet if the vet says and like the thing is she had the money if like she had the money she had the money she had the money she had the money. my god it literally makes me crazy it makes me insane everybody is dick writing her saying like my girl would never do that like i'm so glad like i don't even care somebody was like they're like posting like i don't even care about this stupid cat situation like i just want my content i just want her to post content and like to post vlogs and like da 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 like you people are sick you people are sick in the fucking head and I hope bad things for you low key like i don't even have to hope bad things for you because people like that are just like bad things are coming like what what are you talking about and then there was even a thing where she was like when i was a kid i thought that dogs could fly like i believed in santa or the easter bunny or something like that and so i threw my dog off of like the second story like flight of stairs and that's normal because that's normal and that's normal and that's what kids do and that's normal and it's like believing in santa so kids actually it depends how young she was she never said or maybe she did and i didn't like i'm not dick writing her so it's just like on my timeline and then i'm like looking at the comments like 
reading the tea, to be honest. Because I'm reading the comments, the algorithm is like, oh, she's staying on this for a long time. So then they give me more and whatever, okay? You know, like, I'm not gonna like tell you that I'm not a little bit curious about the tea because it's like, I wanna know who I should block and who I should be supporting and who I should follow and who I should watch and not watch. That's kind of like what's behind it as well. Like, I kind of wanna know the tea so I can like gauge if you're a shitty person or not or if like someone's lying on your name or not. And it doesn't take much brain power. It's literally common sense that both of them, the weirdos in the freaking hype house or whatever they called it, and then her, like just all complete weirdos, okay? It's like you get to a certain level of like fame or like money and a lot of people become weirdos because if you think about it, it's like I almost don't blame them. I blame them about the cat situation, but other than that, like if they're acting dumb and stuff like that, I almost don't blame them because they were 18 or 20 and like you're just so young. And I recognize that like we all do stupid shit when we're younger and we learn and we change. But one of those things, children, it does depend how young she was. Like if she was like a toddler, then like, yeah, a toddler maybe wouldn't know better. But it's also like children don't just harm animals and living things naturally unless they're not normal children they're like dexter k k children sociopathic children i'm not saying that she is no one's diagnosing her by the way i'm just saying like those types of kids or she was taught that somebody taught her that like children don't just naturally want to harm animals i don't know and somebody was like you guys are acting like she's a monster for like throwing the dog off of the stairs and it's like it really depends on the age but just kind of yeah because that's not normal yeah that's what i had to say about that and ugh, it's just gross dude don't get a cat and i also want to add that i don't know if these people lack common sense but Cats don't like playdates. A majority of cats don't like playdates. The freaking weirdo Hype House member said that he wanted this girl's cat to have a playdate with him automatically like red flag because you're dumb, okay? And her cat was a kitten, her cat was sick. He knew that her cat was sick, so why was he trying? Like, they're all weird. Like, they're all weird. It's fucking weird. Like, no normal person is acting like that. Like, I mean, I don't really consider myself normal because I'm talking to myself right now and like you, but like no person with a brain that actually care. <sighs> I don't know, like it's just crazy. And I'm gonna leave you with this. It's literally common sense that, okay, so you live in a hype house, big house, hype house with like 10 plus people, plus their friends, plus like production crew, I think, right? Coming in and out, plus even more than that, like, why do you think a pet would like do good in that environment like a pet is not for show it's not like a trophy like you actually have to take care of it maybe a dog possibly more than likely would enjoy like my dog loves when like my uh, man has people over like he'll have like 10 plus people over to watch like his house of dragons i don't know boy i don't know shit. and my dog literally has a blast like will not like settle down and go to sleep until everybody's pet him like he has a blast so i can maybe understand a dog but a cat like dude and she said like she and it just doesn't add up because i was only 18 and it was my first pet like let's glaze over the 18 part which like the fuck she said that she had animals at home like with her parents her whole life like dogs and cats so it's like are you dumb or are you dumb? I don't, I know that I'm being mean, but this is literally like common sense and this is literally animal abuse. I'm gonna stop saying literally now, but actually. <laughs> and like the people that are trying to normalize it is very weird. Ew, fucking ew. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you. See you in the next vlog. And yeah, thank you for 900 and then some subscribers welcome i'm kind of blushing okay bye